please proceed. Okay. Hi. Okay. My name is um, Tracy Dominguez. I am from Bakersfield. I am with the Fairness for Injured Patients Act. I want to acknowledge my Bakersfield legislators who have shown support for Kern County mothers and babies. My daughter was healthy and monitored her pregnancy closely. She was so excited to, to, to attend her college graduation, but she never got to wear her cap and gown and to accept her degree because she died due to medical negligence one month before her college graduation. My daughter had a healthy pregnancy uh, until extreme swelling turned into a condition where my daughter couldn't breathe. She had vision problems, protein in her urine, and blood pressure, high blood pressure. She had every sign of preeclampsia, but those signs were ignored by two doctors. She tried so hard to get help for her and her unborn son, but her doctors would not help her. She was in trouble, but her regular OBGYN would not see her, so she went to the local hospital in need of care for herself and her unborn son. Mm -hmm. What she didn't know was that the hospital on-call doctor was a repeat offender that the medical board allowed to continue to practice knowing that he was linked to deaths of six mm -hmm. mothers and babies. They were not only his victims. There's a long list of victims with a clear pattern of negligence. After my, my daughter's death, we have been discouraged from filing complaints. We had an investigator come to my home without warning before we even filed a complaint. We have been interviewed by an investigator and integrated by making us feel like we did something wrong. Once we were finally able to prepare our complaint, we were discouraged from doing so, doing so, telling us that we already had been interviewed. Well, we were interviewed without even going through the medical record, without prepare, preparation. We came forward with new information and we had to fight every step of the way to get it to the medical board to accept our new information. I had, I learned that one of her doctors had been harming mothers and babies in Bakersfield for 25 years. Sadly, she had previously changed OBs when she had learned that her prior doctor had been disciplined for sexual misconduct. Searching for another health care, she changed doctors only to die at the hands of another dangerous doctor. The medical board has no value for mother's life. How could the medical board justify allowing a doctor to continue to practice knowing he is linked to deaths of six babies and harming women for 25 years. The board keeps offering him probation. How many mothers will have to die before the medical board revokes his license? The medical board failed my daughter and many other young mothers and babies, the current system is broken. We need a change, and I believe a public board member majority is the change we need. It is a starting point to rebuild the public's confidence in the board that puts the livelihood of doctors over human life. With a micro cap in place and no accountability for families, we file complaints with the medical board and to find no accountability there either. I blame the medical board for the death of my daughter and grandson. It is the board's responsibility to see a clear pattern of extreme negligence that affects mothers and babies. Where else can someone be linked to deaths of six people and be placed on probation? But the medical board keeps giving him per probation and protecting the doctors over patient, patients. It is now the time to overhaul the medical board. If you don't have the will to do it, so then sunset the board. 
You did not protect my daughter. You took my daughter's future away from her family. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. We're very, very sorry for your loss. I know it's very difficult to talk about, but I want you to know that we do appreciate your testimony today.